Hello everyone, and welcome back to Stardew Valley. I don't know why it kept the cursor in there. Hey, there he is. Hello, Serena. See this cat here? <coughs> I found it sitting outside the entrance to your farm. I think it's a stray, poor little thing. I think it likes this place. Hey, do um, you think this farm could use a good cat? We would adopt this cat. <coughs> I see. <coughs> so, in case I get my Umbreon mod back, I'm calling it Shadow. <laughs> well, little Shadow, you'd be a good kitty now, okay? <coughs> so, I had a mod originally. Oh, frick you, Judge Mark. Dear Farmer Serena, I'd like to apologize for joking about your grandma's old cottage when we first met. It's a really nice little house. Want to expand your house? Come see me, Robin. That's basically what she says. There's the parsnips, finally. The beans are not quite done growing yet. That's alright. This gives us some space to start on our tulips. Gotta have that tulip farm. Alright, so we need to keep one of these for the community center. If I could hit the right button, thank you. There we go. The rest we can sell. Um, I don't think there's any need for tulip or for the parsnips otherwise. So, we just go ahead and water all of the plants. Starting with our new tulips that are going to grow and be amazing, amazing little plants. Make sure I'm going down as well while I'm doing these because of the trussels. No real point in trying to go across there when I can't. Oh, and I'm out of water. Of course I am. Watering does not count as farming, unfortunately. But we did just harvest all of those parsnips, so we should get a level in farming now. I think I can probably check. Yep, there you go. Tomorrow we will have one level in farming. Hoe efficiency plus one and plus one water can efficiency. That's what we will be getting tomorrow when we actually get that level. So, it shows us having it, but until it pops up and gives you that, like, hey, you leveled it up, you don't actually have the level. So, but you can use that to tell, oh, I'm going to level up. Oh, yeah, here we go, community center. Oh, hi there. What an eyesore. This is the Pelican Town Community Center, or what's left of it anyway. It used to be the pride and joy of the town, always bustling with activity. Now, just look at it. It's shameful. These days, the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. But listen to me, I sound like an old fool. Georgia Corporation has been hounding me to sell them the land so they can turn it into a warehouse. Pelican Town could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old timers like me get attached to relics of the past. Ah oh well. If anyone else buys a Georgia Corporation membership, I'm just going to go ahead and sell it. And that's your clue that uh, if you buy a Georgia Corp, um he'll sell the warehouse and or he'll sell the community center and it'll become a warehouse. It sort of means it's like if you buy the Georgia Corp, then you know, that's where your bad end, you know? <sighs> Here, let's go inside. <clears throat> I highly recommend not doing that though. 
completing the community center is way more like it, it's way better so hmm hmm what's this I guess Vincent and Jess must have been playing in here this place is even more dilapidated than I remember huh what's that what What's the matter? Are you ill? But I saw it. It was right there. <clears throat> you saw something? Hmm. Wouldn't be surprised if this place is full of rats. It's right there. That's not a rat. You're worrying me, Serena. Look, I think I'm gonna head home. I need some lunch. Hey, I'll keep this place unlocked from now on. Maybe you can help catch that rat if you have some extra time. Indeed. Strange. I'll have to come back and explore this building further. Very strange. Alright, well let's head back in. And let's explore the building further. And right over here... See a nice golden scroll. It looks more like a plaque to me, but according to the game, it's a scroll. Apparently, I can put my cursor in these four spots. That's interesting. I don't know why those four four spots in particular, but yes, apparently in those four exact spots. All right. Well, that's all we can do with the community center right now. So. That was good. Oh, getting started is done. I can get 100 gold. Build a coop. And reach farming level 1 and build a scarecrow. Yes, please. That's what I really need. Before any crows start showing up. I actually haven't had any crows yet, which I'm glad. This has been slow since JoJo moved into town. It's hard to compete with their selection. I mean, they just have the exact same things you have, but they cost more, so... Wow, I just realized it's Friday. I'm going to totally lose track of time. It's a fine-looking day. On days like this, I like to help Evelyn with the public gardens. She's strong for her age, but I think she appreciates all the help she can get. Abby... All right. So one nice thing um, is that um, they do allow you to have like more customization now um, because you can like equip and unequip your shirt and your pants. Um, and apparently these are dyeable, comfortable and durable for long hours in the field and they're dyeable. Whereas the shirt is not dyeable. But apparently there's a whole tailoring system now as of 1.4 so like you can make clothes and like have different outfits and stuff I don't know you <clears throat> and I don't know how I've not done it yet but I am like super stoked for that because as soon as I can like change outfit regularly I will be doing that just because I love that idea like I play, and when I play Mob and Ogie on my regular character, I change my outfit like every day. Fit of Jojo Mart might not be the healthiest for my family, but with such low prices, you'd be crazy to shop anywhere else. I mean, they're higher than Pierre's prices though, so. Maybe with the Jojo membership, it costs less, but if I were to go there right now, um, the prices would be higher, so. Like, but I don't want to pay more. I, I like Pierre's shop. Hey, how's the weather? Catch me at the saloon most nights. Emma's a great company, but I need to spend time with people too. And I don't think there's anything I can buy from her yet. Not that I need anyway. There's things I can buy, but there's no real purpose in buying them. Actually, I don't even know if I can buy because I don't have a silo. So I can't, I don't even know that I can buy hay yet. 
I probably can, because you can put it in your inventory. But yeah. I don't have any reason to buy it right now, though. And I don't really have any reason to ever buy it, because if I do this right, I should always have um, hay. That's why I'm like not cutting down the grass up here. Because that should fill up one, maybe even two silos um, once I'm able to. Because this is going to keep growing, you know. So it should like keep expanding and like overtake the entire farm and eventually like I'll have to cut it down because it's become sentient. <laughs> But not today. Today it's okay. It has not yet reached its uh, sentience. Whoops. Well, that may uh, that that may cause it to become sentient. Because I just you know hit it. I may have just angered the grass, and it may become sentient now. Nice. Alright. Um, let's get rid of this fiber again. I need it. I'd like to be on the regular inventory, thanks. The other nice thing about having the forest though is that you can forage in your um farm. So it is pretty handy. Sometimes things grow on your farm, you know? So you can just forage for stuff right here on your farm. And even have to leave. Sometimes, not always. I do need to get that backpack, but... It costs 2,000 gold. And... We don't even have 1,000 gold. Though we should get close. We still probably won't get 2,000, but we should get pretty close. Um, since we now have, um, since we have the, uh, the things, so. Um, I actually don't have any dandelion, so I can't make any more wild seeds. <laughs> Which I guess is okay, we're still early in the game, I don't need a gigantic farm yet. Summer, when summer comes around, this farm is going to be ridiculous, though. Like, let me tell you. <clears throat> like, when summer comes around, it's going to be a ridiculous farm, because it's going to be so big. Because by summer, I should have the ability to farm more. I hope things are going well on Kellis Farm. I'd hate to see it all dried up. Hi, Haley. Haley is ignoring you. Well, fine. I didn't want to talk to you either anyway. Um, I need to go to the forest because there is probably something I can buy from the uh, shop there. Special cart. Did I ever tell you we used to live in the city? There's a lot more stuff going on, but it's also kind of noisy and hectic. It's hard to say which is better. George spends the whole day in front of that darn television set. Wish he'd go outside more. Some fresh air would do him good. Well, I mean, he is old and in a wheelchair. Ah, spring. Season of pastels. I actually prefer jewel tones myself. Oh, excuse me, I was mumbling about fashion again, wasn't I? Emily is the one that's actually into fashion. Haley just pretends. I think that's what you find out um, when you get her higher levels. It's like, yeah, Haley does like clothes and stuff, but she's not as much of a fashion nerd as she tries to pretend to be. It's simpler to be friends with the trees. They don't have much to say. Sure. Whatever you say. I 
I should go down into the mine. It is day five. That'll have been open. That'll open now. But if I get my sword, that's one less inventory space I have. <coughs> Because once I go to the mine, I'll end up getting my sword. And at that point, like I said, I'll have one less inventory space because I'll have my sword. I mean, I guess technically I could choose not to, like, get the sword, but... Hmm. Large mouse bass, bass for 500. Ooh, sunflower seeds. Five. Plant in summer or fall. Yields more seeds at harvest. That actually might not be a bad idea. We'll bloom times in the humid summer. Rare seed I can't pick up yet. Iron bars, copper ore, eggs. I don't really need the eggs. Large mouth bass is something I kind of need though. I'll get the, um, oh, that was a hundred thousand one. Oh, right, because she's got a, I just remembered that. Um, yeah, no, I'll just get the one. That'll be fine. One will yield more, so... Whoops. Home tool. Now, I'm going to go buy a second one. I'll have two, and that will yield more than... You know, nothing, so... But anyway, let's go, uh, let's go drop the stuff off, and then let's head to the mine before it gets too much later. I mean, I can't even use the seeds right now anyway, so maybe by the time Summer Wolf does roll around, I'll have more sunflower seeds. Um, I might even have been able to buy them for cheaper at Pierre's, but oh well. Like once Summer rolls around. I know that some items are like rare, um, so it's like, oh yeah, you can't actually, like, get that until, like, a certain time, so. Should have gone the other way, it would have been faster, but oh well. If I had gone up, I would have only had to go two screens. Here I have to go three screens, so it would have been faster to go the other way. Oh well, no biggie. I just need to go to the mine get my sword, and then maybe we can go down to floor five. I think it'll want me to, so. So let me check my social. I'm still higher with Haley than I am Abby, but that should change now that I have access to the mine. I'll take that. Also, in the new 1.4 version, um, if you faint while you're in the mine, you don't lose, like, floors and stuff, which is great. Hmm. I was just peering down in this old mine shaft. It's been abandoned for decades. Still, there's probably good ore down there. Dark place undisturbed for so long, Fredor isn't the only thing you'll find. Here, take this. You might need it. You received a rusty sword. Name's Marlin, by the way. I run the Adventurer's Guild right outside. I'll keep my eye on you. Prove yourself, and I might think about making you a member. All right, well, let's see what we can do down here. Well, that's immediate. That's kind of nice. Not even like getting stone from these rocks. Let alone copper. The only problem with holding it a uh, control with using a controller is I can't like quick hotkey between items. Oh, hi. Got it. Hey, I got crab. Cool. 
And I got me a cherry bomb. Wow! That did nothing. <laughs> nothing that I was expecting it to do anyway. I kind of assumed that would, like, clear that big rock, but nope. Did not. Die! Got it. I needed to get to this copper ore. If the copper ore hadn't been there, I wouldn't have even worried about it. They already had a way down, but I want to get to the copper ore. I had to get 20 copper ore, so... My inventory is full, which is fine. There's some quartz. Hmm. I do have the wild horseradish for food. I guess I'll eat that right now. That will clear up a little bit of my inventory too. Pick up the quartz. I need to get down to level 5. Let's go down. I to feel exhausted again. It's always a good idea to have food when you go down here. And I did not bring any. Like a dingus. Maybe one of these monsters will drop the door down. I'm on for floor four. So if I can get another way down than having to mine. You would think that using a sword would use energy, but it does not. This is evil slime. It had red eyes. That was evil slime. Really? No floors at all? Lame. Um, what do I not need? You and you. I can't even use bug meat yet. I was going to say, if I mine that, I might run out of energy. There I go. I'm exhausted now. I got no food. But well, we made it to floor five. So let's get out of here. Fortunately, I only got 17 copper, so that's not the greatest. But, I got a piece of quartz. As long as I don't, you know, die here, because I am nowhere near the house. It is 12 o'clock, I just realized. And I have no way of speeding myself up because of exhaustion. So, that's unfortunate. So, I'm probably going to faint, and sometimes when you faint, you lose items, so here's hoping I don't. Um, I think it kind of depends on where you faint. If I can at least get onto my farm, <laughs> it'll be alright, but I don't know if I can get to my farm. That's the problem. That'll help. That helped. <laughs> as soon as I saw that leak, I was like, I am grabbing it and eating it immediately for food. <clears throat> and it worked. I got some food. And I can go to sleep. I have to interact with my cat. I won't get a lot of energy, though, because I waited so long. Yay! Scarecrow and fertilizer. And cherry bombs. Alright, well this seems like a good spot actually to end off the episode. It was only one day, but a lot happened in that one day. So, I, uh, I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, feel free to subscribe. Check the video description down below for a link to the playlist. That way you can get caught up on any episode you might have missed. And I'll see you guys next time. See you later.